Hello, my storytime friends. I'm Miss Sarah, and welcome back to another virtual storytime. I am so glad that you are here. So for this week, before we get started, I have one special announcement. As you all know, Halloween is coming up shortly, and we normally do Halloween's, Halloween happenings in, here in the library, but due to the virus, we can't do it the same way but we are doing Halloween happenings to go. So we will put together bags that have a special Halloween scavenger hunt, some candy, and some crafts. That'll be fun for you to do at home. And you can pick up those bags on the second floor or you can call us and have, have us place one at the drive-through for you. And the dates that you can pick those up are anywhere from October 24th through October 31st. All right, let's go ahead and get started with our story time. So we're gonna start off with popcorn kernels. Now I'm here at the library, so I have my own scarf that I can use, but since you all are at home, you can go ahead and use a clean Kleenex, or you can use a scarf you have in your closet, or a washcloth, or a small hand towel, whatever you feel will work. Go ahead and grab that. All right, here we go. Ready? Popcorn kernels, popcorn kernels, in the pot, in the pot. Shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, till they pop, till they pop. All right, let's do it one more time. Popcorn kernels, popcorn kernels, in the pot, in the pot. Shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, till they pop, till they pop. Great job, my storytime friends. Now, let's get to our story for today. Today, we are reading May Among the Stars, written by Rhoda Ahmed and illustrated by Stacia Burrington. Little May was a dreamer. They say that daydreamers never succeed. But little May was different. One day, May was working on an assignment for school about what she wanted to be when she grew up. What will you tell them, May? I will tell them I want to see Earth. This is Earth, May, her mother said. The flowers, the grass, the forests, the mountains, we live on Earth. I know, but I want to see Earth from out there. That's an amazing plan, little May. Then you have to become an astronaut. That way, you can see Earth from space. Astronaut, do you think I could do that? Of course you can, if you can dream it, if you believe it, and work hard for it, anything is possible. May asked her mom to take her to the library. She searched for books about space and astronauts. After dinner, May drew pictures of space and she even made her own astronaut costume out of old orange curtains and cardboard boxes. So take a look at her makeshift um, astronaut costume and all the pictures that she made. Later, she asked her dad, but how do I become an astronaut? It seems impossible. You will find your way, May, because if you dream it, believe in it, and work hard for it, anything is possible. But space is so, so, so far away. It's closer than you think, little May. And you may get there sooner than you think. So here's May and her dad, and they're looking out at space with a telescope. So a telescope makes it easier for, see, for you to see things that are really far away. That night, May had a happy dream. She was dancing in space, surrounded by billions of sparkling stars. Below her, she could see Earth floating and turning like a shining crystal ball. Look how 
small Earth looks when she's out in space. The next morning, May told her parents about her dream. She wanted to tell everyone, and every time she talked about it, her eyes would light up. So what do you think it means when, when it says her eyes lit up, when she was talking about it? It means that she was passionate about this, that she was really excited about becoming an astronaut and going to space. In the classroom, Miss Bell told everyone to stand in a line on the rug. Today, we are all going to share our dreams about the future. What do you want to be? And what do you want to do when you grow up? Who wants to go first? I want to be a firefighter. I want to be a teacher. Football player. I want to be a mom. I want to go to space. I want to be an astronaut. All the kids started laughing. Miss Bell asked, May, are you sure you don't want to be a nurse? Nursing would be a good profession for someone like you. Hmm, do you think May wants to be a nurse? I don't want to be a nurse. I want to be an astronaut. Mm, how do you think May's feeling about her dream now? May felt very disappointed. On her way home from school, May was quiet. She looked out the car window. Her world turned blue and cold. Nothing was the way it used to be. At home, May started crying. Miss Bell said, I can't become an astronaut. What a silly thing to say, said her mom. She told me I should be a nurse instead, said May. Her mom wiped away her tears. My dear May, I hope you didn't believe her. Of course I believed her. She's my teacher. I'm sorry Miss Bell didn't encourage you, but she can't stop you. No one can stop you. Follow your dream, May, and go to space. Thank you, Mom. I promise when I get to space, I will wave to you and Dad from the spaceship. Do you think May got to space? Her mom took her hand and they started dancing. You must always repeat to yourself, if I can dream it, if I can believe in it, and if I work hard for it, anything is possible. With that attitude, I think she might have gotten to space. Let's see. May went on dreaming, believing, and working really hard. And guess what? She went to space and waved to her mom and dad on Earth. So this story is actually based on Dr. May Jensen, and she was the first African-American woman in space. So May did go achieve her dreams. All right, let's get to our plan board for today. The plan board today is about space. So here's Earth, and that's going to go right down here. And let's see how many stars I have. One, two, three, four, five. I have five stars. So five little stars shine and shine some more. One fell to Earth, and then there were four. Four little stars, happy as could be. One fell to Earth, and then there were three. Three little stars in the sky, so blue. One fell to Earth, and then there were two. Two little stars having lots of fun. One fell to Earth, and then there was one. The moon came out. What a pretty sight. He waved to the stars and said good night. So wave to our moon and our earth and our last star. All right, now let's sing some fun songs about space. First song is called Tuning Up for Outer Space. And it's to the tune of the farmer in the dell. The sun is in the sky, the sun is in the sky. Hot and bright it gives us light, the sun is in the sky. 
The moon is in the sky, the moon is in the sky, around and round the earth it goes, the moon is in the sky. The stars are in the sky, the stars are in the sky, twinkly bright they shine all night, the stars are in the sky. Great job! Now our last song is called Zoom, 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 and it has some fun little motions so you can follow along. All right. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. In five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Good job, my story time friends. That is it for our story time this week. I will see you again next week for our other virtual story time. And please remember that the building is open so you can come in and check out your materials. Or if you're not comfortable coming into the building, you can call us and have us place materials on hold for you down at the drive through window. And if you're not comfortable using our physical materials at all, that is perfectly fine. Um, you can use our digital materials on OverDrive, the Libby app, and also you can use Hoopla. And please remember if you're coming into our building, we all need to be wearing masks covering both our mouths and our noses because we want to keep all of our friends safe. Please remember to stop by the library to pick up your story time packet to go with this week's story time. And don't forget about Halloween's, Halloween happenings to go. You can pick up those fun goodie bags from October 24th through October 31st. And keep an eye out on Morley Library's Facebook and YouTube page for all of our story time videos and also all the Saturday crafts that we are doing. All right, my story time friends, that is it for this week. I will see you virtually next week. Have a great week. Good job today. Goodbye.